Meghan Markle's big product reveal thoroughly disappointing as Expert Blast's launch. With the introduction of a new product, Meghan Markle soft launched her lifestyle website American Riviera Orchard, however, one royal expert was thoroughly disappointed by the big unveiling. The Duchess of Sussex's pals began to appear on social media earlier this week, expressing gratitude for the things she had sent them. Fifty strawberry jams were allegedly sent out by Meghan. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. However, Kinsey Schofield of Today for Daily is not at all enthused, saying to Daily Express US, I find the concept of a large-scale DIY jam launch, with peeling labels, to be rather disappointing. When you acknowledge that since leaving the British royal family, Harry and Meghan have had very little success. Meghan seems to be depending on her pals to spread the word about her much-awaited new lifestyle brand's debut item thus far. When you acknowledge that since leaving the British royal family, Harry and Meghan have had very little success. Meghan seems to be depending on her pals to spread the word about her much-awaited new lifestyle brand's debut item thus far. She claims in her pitch that the Duchess makes her own jams, which are sourced in Montecito, most likely from the orchard in her garden. Meghan could easily prepare a small batch and give canned jams to 50 friends, but PR specialist Meghan Boyle believes she would be unable to keep up with demand if she tried to produce the jams in large quantities for the general public. After years of international media debating whether or not the Suits star would run for president, the most powerful position in the world, Meghan is finally campaigning, Schofield stated, expressing his disapproval of the entire endeavor. According to the royal expert, this is a wasted potential situation where Harry and Meghan placed their egos ahead of the institution. Schofield said the Sussex Duke and Duchess would be heroes today if they had shown more tolerance and deference. However, she says that for the time being, it feels like an episode of The Twilight Zone. The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, has openly discussed her difficulties prior to meeting Prince Harry. The former actress said that she didn't discover true pleasure until she became 33, and discovered how to treat herself with kindness. Harry was 32 and Meghan was 35 when they first met in July of 2016. The Duchess asserted that before to this, she had encountered numerous difficulties. Meghan revealed in her former lifestyle blog, The Tig, how brutal her twenties were and how much harder her adolescent years were. She opened out to her followers about how difficult it was for her to blend in during high school and how she frequently engaged in extracurricular activities to avoid dining in the cafeteria by herself. Meghan noted that as she approached her early twenties, she struggled with self-judgment about her appearance, weight, and desire to be as cool, trendy, intelligent, or whatever as everyone else. A casting director's advice to wear less makeup and be more Meghan at the age of 24 marked a turning point in her life. Being more Meghan turned become a slogan she carried around. Remarkably, seven years prior to her own royal wedding, Meghan also discussed her prospective in-laws on the TIG. She talked on the splendor of Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding in one of her posts. Princesses are the fantasy of young girls. Meghan Markle once wrote on her blog, I, for one, was all about she Princess of Power, alluding to the well-liked 1980s TV series that followed the exploits of Princess Adora, she the twin sister of Prince Adam, He-Man.